The great separation con game has been woven into how we think. It's allowed us to subjugate nature and our fellow man. And this will continue with the latest con, the outsourcing of our creative process to AI. But also part of that wildness is our creativity. And what AI may do is it may solve some problems and it may take away a lot of that creative process. And, and the thing about the creative act is it's, it's not the results. The AI can come out with a result just like that, you know, and, and uh, people will no doubt make lots of money out of that and um, lots of great crea creative things. But it's the process of creation that is the key, not the product. That creative process is co-creative. We're creating from the field we are all part of. There's a field that exists and we are the field. It's not that the field is out there. So every atom in your body, it's not, it's not static. It's not just sitting there. That atom is constantly emerging from the field and collapsing back into the field in little packets of energy. They're called quanta. The machines can actually see the emerging and the collapsing of quantum energy in and out of the field. Field isn't out there. You are the field. We tap into that field as many artists have testified to. Yet now, instead of the stick, we are lured by the carrot. The carrot of promises to make creating images, text, music easier, faster. Many embrace all that AI has to offer, yet creativity is a process, and that process is being hijacked so that the source of our creative output turns more and more to AI instead of the field. And we're just starting to recognize the potential of tapping into the field itself. The helicopter that he just drew is exactly the current Mars lander. Somehow he tapped into time differently than what we do. He could see the future. And I see geometry as a QR code for the subconscious mind mm -hmm. and for the conscious to reconnect into one. Yeah. yeah. And once we, ex and once we experience that, mm -hmm. then we can become a combined super consciousness that was spoken of by, you know, people like uh, in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, as mm -hmm. well as going beyond that into Carl Jung, not be the change you want to see in the world, yeah. see the change you want to be in the world as more and more of us do that the more powerful we realize our true potential is whereas if it's hijacked by ai i think we'll stay in that limited form of creation uh through just uh, what you can see around you when that happens then it bypasses their natural ability to be creative and the output is one that can be controlled manipulated and those who use this begin to parrot whatever seems to be working at the time. We are creative and been consistently guided away from that expression. Music, dance, drawing, writing, all the creative arts have been subverted because they don't pay. Well now, as those creative arts are starting to pay as we cater to each other instead of to companies and middlemen who just take most of the money in the process, now that creativity is paying, it's being hijacked by promises to engage with AI or be left behind, which is exactly what a direct AI implant promises take it or be left behind to those with greater abilities. Yet what if the actual greater ability is to be open more to the field we're all part of and co-create our way forward? The hijacking of our creative consciousness disconnects us more from the field. Now, do you think this video is going to get picked up by the algo and viewed a lot? I kind of doubt it, which is why I'm calling on you to share with other like-minded people. It's critical that we keep our creative process as it's part of how we communicate with the universe, each other, nature, God, and the source of everything. Be creative as an expression of who you are. Revel in the process as the journey that unfolds for our spirit and life itself. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give a like. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.